everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought it was only right that i sit down and i just talk to you about a little life update because i actually took a week fully off of social media more or less last week i just wanted a little break to be honest i didn't want to well it's not even that i didn't want to because i love filming these videos and i love sitting down and i love editing them but i just needed a little break i think i have a lot of stuff going on at the minute which i'm going to update you on in this video and i just needed to sort a few things out before concentrating on this just for a week so i thought i would have a little mini break hopefully you can see that i've had my hair done i am absolutely in love with it i have started to keep the length so the length is the same just nice had a tiny tiny little trim from the bottom but apart from that the length is still the same and i've just gone fully blonde fully blonde and i'm in love it actually feels in really really good healthy condition which is amazing considering i've literally bleached my full head of hair because usually she does the top bits but doesn't do the ends and stuff she just leaves them because they're bright enough but because it's been so long since i last had it done we did like the full head really i am very very happy with it i absolutely love it so that is done and the reason that i went to go and get that done which i've been holding off for so long is because australia is actually booked now this is really why i've done this video because i just wanted to talk to you about australia because i've been saying in videos for ages now like oh it's just a few weeks away we're going in march that all sort of fell apart really so i thought i'd tell you the reason why so josh can get a dual citizenship he has family that are australian so he can get a dual citizenship he applied for this ages ago like months and months and months ago didn't hear anything and then maybe like a month ago maybe a bit longer than a month but around a month ago we both applied for our visas applied for the visas more or less at the same time i got mine back within 10 minutes four days later josh still hadn't heard anything so you know alarm bells start ringing and you're thinking why are we not hearing anything like it is a bit suspicious we leave it it gets a little email saying invalid sorry your visa is invalid so we're like oh, excellent news then he gets another email saying that it's because his dual citizenship has been accepted which you think amazing news that is fantastic that is exactly what we wanted that ended up turning into the biggest nightmare ever he couldn't fly to australia without his passport or he had to wait like six weeks for a certificate because our original date was the 18th of march which obviously by the time this video is up it's past the 18th of march at this point it was about three weeks three four weeks until we were meant to fly so that was great it was like brilliant so we rang up the embassy embassy was like sorry you're gonna have to wait or ideally you need to get a passport even with a certificate it's better to get a passport so poor little josh had to travel all the way to london to try and get his passport sorted got told it'd be about four weeks for his passport to come so we've sort of just been sat here waiting not knowing what's going to happen just patiently waiting and luckily very luckily it came within about two weeks i want to say two three weeks so we was very very lucky that it came before the date and now we've been able to book the flights book the trip and obviously things have changed a little bit so originally the plan was to fly into singapore to singapore for a few days and then obviously go on to australia and then come back and do dubai we looked at the pricing now and that has gone up drastically like dramatically more expensive so we was like listen we can't do that and then this week we have spent so much time there must have been about 60 tabs open on josh's laptop trying to find the best possible route to get to australia so it is booked we're going the start of april we're flying straight to australia which is gonna be like a 25 hour ordeal i'm thinking of maybe vlogging that because i just feel like maybe it'll be interesting to see what it's like to actually travel long haul like i don't know how to do the transfer i'm intrigued to see what the plane's gonna be like i'm just i think it'll be a nice experience i'll probably bring you along with me to that and then you'll get to see like what it actually is like because i don't personally know so i'd like to know so i feel like maybe other people would like to know as well so i think i'm gonna do that but basically we've got a 25 hour flight we stop at dubai airport and then carry on and fly into brisbane that is the plan i'm not going to say the exact date just because like of privacy reasons i don't want to share too much but we're going to the start of april it is booked we are ready we're flying into brisbane and we are staying for three months and we're definitely ending in perth like that is for sure because we come home from perth so i am ever so excited i cannot wait plans are in place i'm going to start looking at packing i'm going to do some packing videos i've ordered loads of bits to try on last minute clothing and things like that so I am very very excited for the upcoming videos and i'm gonna be back and we'll be posting more frequently i'm very very happy and very excited that is all sorry so that was one of the reasons that i've not filmed as much this past week another reason is i don't know if people know by now i mean if you've watched other videos you probably do but i've actually been working at pandora for the past five months 
Wow, that's gone so quick. Started off as a Christmas temp and then got kept on. So yeah, it's been about five months I've been working at Pandora. And honestly, I have never loved a job more. My assistant manager, actually, well, let me show you both. So obviously I did a Jolly Cat video a few weeks ago. If you've seen that, you already know how obsessed I am. The girls at work, when I left, got me, oh my God, the diamond ring. How sweet is that? I didn't even know. That's a lie. I didn't know it existed. I didn't know it was this small. I thought it was like a big one, the diamond ring. And I am in love with it. Look, you can put it on your wrist. Oh, it's the best. So the girls all at work got me that, which I just thought was the sweetest thing. Oh, and I'm going to add some pictures in. They did like a whole setup. Me and a girl called Tilly left at the same time because she's also going traveling. Well, she's already gone at this point. So we had like our leaving day at the same time and we got like buns made for us and they got me some beautiful earrings and it was just the nicest last day. They wrote me a beautiful card. I did cry. I'm not going to lie did make me cry. It has just been the most incredible experience. The girls at work are just the kindness and I was very sad to leave. My assistant manager also got me this and it was so cute because we were talking about our favourite jelly cats and she was showing me the other cloud one and I showed her this and we bought each other the same present without realising. I'd got her the happy cloud like the normal white cloud and she got me the storm cloud. <gasps> How cute! It's the best. It sits on my bed. I cuddle it every night. It's like the fluffiest thing. She wrote a little note saying, this is me when you leave. Because he's so sad. Oh, which was just the sweetest thing ever. I feel very, very lucky to have met the girls that I've met in that short space of time. And build friendships like I have. It's just been incredible. And it's been a really sad week having to say bye to everyone. And it's just been sad. My last day was on Saturday. So this week has just been my, my last week working. And I just really wanted to enjoy it. And it's just been quite an emotional week. I'm not going to lie to you. So that was my last week at Pandora. I honestly, hand on heart, never had a job like it. Where I have just felt so comfortable and welcomed and the girls are so nice because you know in environments like that where it's like a group full of girls a work environment full of girls I feel like it can even go one of two ways they're all really really nice or it's quite a bitchy environment the nicest place to work the nicest girls it's just been great that has made this week quite busy and quite emotional and then I've also been working for like a restaurant company in Hull not gonna say where I think a few people know but I'm just not gonna say where yeah I've been working for a restaurant company in Hull doing their social media as well so whenever I've not been working or sorting out these Australia plans I've been there trying to sort things out for them I'm creating a new menu which has been amazing as well because it's just meant I've had so much more experience to do what I want to do as a career really when I get back from Australia I do want to go into fashion marketing so it's just nice little practice and doing something a little bit different to what I'm used to which is nice it's like a little bit more of a challenge but it's an exciting challenge I really enjoy it I feel busy at the minute I feel like I don't really stop so I just wanted to come and give you a little update on my life but I'm so happy so unbelievably happy I've had the best couple of weeks ever just knowing that things are falling into place is really really nice obviously it's kind of bittersweet I do have to say goodbye to like all my family and things these next couple of weeks which is going to be sad but it's only for like three months it's not forever i just felt like i needed to sit down and actually give you a proper update because if you do follow along and watch all of my videos which if you do thank you ever so much you're probably confused why we've not got on a plane yet that is why it has been a very very stressful few weeks and now i've got the extra stress of not knowing what to pack which is making me want to cry so expect a lot of hauls because i'm going to be doing quite a bit of ordering i'm also gonna do a few more vlogs obviously i've got a few little plans here and there i'm going to see emily this weekend who i've not seen it ages and I think I'm going to vlog it because we're going to this event it's like Disney like club night which I feel like it'll be quite fun to record so I feel like I'm going to bring you to Manchester with me I've got lots of plans to see lots of friends so hopefully there'll be a few more vlogs as well I just want to say a huge thank you there's been quite a few of you that have just recently subscribed so thank you so much for subscribing it really does mean so much to me I'm so so excited to bring you along these next few months with me I just think it's going to be incredible and I'm so excited excited to record it all and bring you all along with me so thank you so much to old subscribers new subscribers all of you thank you so so much if you did enjoy this one please make sure to leave a like and do subscribe down below so you don't miss any other videos and i will see you very very soon